My name is Daniel Jordan. I grew up in a home that knew God well. However, we didn't attend church very much. Eventually, my family would find North Point Church, where we would attend morning services regularly, or what I would call the adult service. From there on, I had questions about my faith, how I could get a relationship with Jesus. In October of 2011, that it looked like my grandfather was gonna pass away because of how sick he was. At that point, I prayed for the first time, and miraculously, his health was restored over two years. My faith was finally building. God would call on me again to come closer to him after I graduated in high school. Summer of 2015, I had a house fired, and me and my family narrowly escaped. It's scary, um, definitely scary. Waking up at 3 a.m. and hearing screaming and alarms going off, and then the smoke hits your face when you open up your door, and you just watch everything that you've known go up in flames. It's hard, and it's hard not to get angry and frustrated, and as easy as it was to blame God for the disaster, I decided to run to him. Seeing all the blessings that God has given me after that fire and how the community came to support my family, I fully accepted Jesus as my savior. My life changed forever in 2017 when I decided to be a small group leader at GCIO. As I led and heard countless stories of life change through the students and adults, I found that my purpose was there in Jesus. I want to thank my parents and my siblings for always having my back through all the ups and downs. I want to thank my small group leaders Glenn, James, John, and my small group kids. And I'd like to thank Mike Sohn for being a mentor to me. I'm here today to say that Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. That's awesome, awesome. DJ, thank you so much for sharing your story. Thanks for allowing me to be a part of this moment with you. Um, it's been a pleasure to get to do life with you and get to see you take so many steps of faith. And today is an amazing step that you're taking. I'm super proud of you. Um, when I think about your story, two things really stand out for me. Number one, you had a wake-up call. Three in the morning, house is burning down, alarms are going off. I, I can't even imagine what that would be like. And I know you experienced significant loss and it was frustrating, but it's a good reminder for me and for all of us to, to pause and stop and ask ourselves, what have we been putting our hope in? Is it our possessions? Um, it's okay for um, possessions to serve us, but we can't put our ultimate hope in possessions. And I think for you, um, you experienced that. And I'd love to ask us, like, what do we want to put our ultimate hope and trust in? And for you, in that pivotal circumstance, you put your trust in Jesus. And thanks for um, encouraging us with that. The other thing I'm reminded of is the power of and the reason for community. Um, your community was there for you. They built you back up there for you and your family. And um, I think they were doing what Jesus commanded his followers to do, and that's to love one another. And we all experience the love of an invisible God through visible people and tangible expressions of love. And that made a significant impact on you. And now you're having a significant impact on the next generation of high school students. And I think you're amazing. And so now, based on your public profession of faith, it is my joy and honor to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.